Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. This is part two of our Great Glen Canoe Challenge. Just to recap, we're two and a half days into the challenge and we began at Fort William and have paddled canals, rivers, Loch Lochy and Loch Oik, not forgetting the exciting rapids of the River Oik. And we now find ourselves at the southern entrance to Loch Ness, where the river and the canal flow into the loch. We're at the small town of Fort Augustus, and here we meet up with Ginge. Because Ginge had his two dogs with him, he took the canal route, whilst the rest of us paddled the River Oich. We've all been into town, enjoyed some excellent fish and chips, and stocked up on supplies. We first need to paddle across the loch to the southern shore, which, although in short supply, favours more likely areas for wild camping. I do hope you enjoy the final part of this adventure. In this next video you'll see us paddling hard and sailing and having a really great time. You'll also get the opportunity to meet a few of the adventurers. Welcome aboard and thanks again. <laughs> right, we've just left uh, Fort Augustus. We've got Loch Ness ahead for a couple of long paddle days. But we'll uh, see what we can do today and I think um, finding camping spots is going to be one of the more difficult things so we're just going to paddle paddle until we see somewhere suitable but yep oh excuse me fish and chips <laughs> we're on our way Well, we're just um, well into Loch Ness now. Amazing views. It's um, got quite a swell, so we're just regrouping at this little pulling point to uh, decide on a plan of action. Simon, unfortunately, is taking on a bit of water because I think he had a bash on his canoe in those rapids. But uh, looking at him now, he's coming in under sail, so I think he's done a bit of a repair, which is good, and we'll uh, help him do something a bit more permanent tonight if we can. But, yep, all going well. Um, it's a funny feeling crossing that water from Fort Augustus because we had to cross right north to south across the, um, the whole of the lock and I felt very small for a bit but uh, we went under sail so it was over uh, and done with quite quickly. So we're just going to hug the edge for the rest of the uh, canoe and uh, stick as a small group so that we uh, can uh, look after each other if anyone gets into trouble. But yeah, it's working well. We're at the end of day three and we found this little sort of shingly beach to pull up in. Pretty tight for space for various tents, but luckily lots of people have got hammocks with them. Uh, I've just got a tent with me, so I think there's a little uh, area where I can put it. But yeah, generally it's okay. It's just gonna be maybe a little bit of a cozy night and uh, not the most comfortable one for uh, some of us, but uh, we're all mucking and uh, get through the night, have a good time, and tomorrow's another day. Such a huge fish and chips for lunch, so I think I'm maybe just having some oat cakes and cheese. I'm going to have my tea tonight, but you never know, I might get hungrier later on. I need something more, but I've got plenty to eat. So. Cheese and oat cakes, fantastic. Well, I was a little bit apprehensive when we began that crossing from uh, Fort Augustus because we had to cross a very wide part of the loch and 
I was uh, feeling very small and vulnerable and they got whenever a big cruiser goes past um, it, <laughs> it makes quite a swell uh, and it, it did make a big difference having Simon with the experience to sort of turn the canoe the correct way because you when you get these waves coming from uh, another bigger boat you could cross them at right angles if possible and he was doing a really good job of that oh, I'm really grateful but the whole thing has been such an experience I was really apprehensive about that white water today and apparently um, using Rick as the yardstick he reckons it was a grade two which I think for my first time is <laughs> a little bit of an achievement so I'll celebrate with a piece of cheese but everyone's sort of settled in now we've got various hammocks uh, tents and I got my tent um, and I think we've we've managed to find one of the only suitable places on the side of Loch Ness so all is good Yeah, and that would be great. Yeah, that would be great for the footage as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's get those tomorrow. Let's get yeah, that. Let's Well, all tucked up now. It was a really great day. I'm just going to keep my voice down because I know people are trying to sleep. But yeah, we just had an evening by the fire chatting away. Um, we had some great trout that had been caught by uh, Matty, which is brilliant. And looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully, going to raft up, go in pairs with sails uh, with the wind. So, yeah, all it is is Loch Ness now, and we'll just try and uh, see how many miles we can get under our belts tomorrow. See you in the morning. Morning everyone from Tent City, just all sort of gradually stirring, getting breakfast on, beautiful day and day four begins. I think the idea as I said is to raft up as soon as that wind starts to pick up and make our way down the loft. Still got a long long way to go, it's about a uh, probably about another 23 miles down the loft before we enter the uh, canal for Inverness, but all is good. So the idea with this is that we get two canoes and we just lash them together using a bit of timber. It's important to leave a, about a two foot space between the two canoes else you get this channeling of water which can slosh over straight into your canoe, um, which is something I wouldn't have thought about so that's great. And yeah we're going to set sail, really excited about this, there's quite a wind blowing in mid-loch there's a lot of white water, you know sort of white peaks on the waves. So we're going to hug the edge and just see uh, how much headway we can make down the loch. Yeah. 
Great sail. We've done five miles in about an hour and 20, so it's not a bad pace really, considering uh, just been using wind power really and a uh, bit of power from the back. Yeah, so lunch stop and we'll uh, keep making progress. Well, all good things must come to an end. We uh, ended up getting a sort of wind that came across and then even turned into a headwind. So we had to uh, come in and take the sail down because it wasn't something we could just do mid-lock. And we're just still rafted together. And then we'll make a bit of uh, headway and say that and now feeling the wind at the back of my neck again. <laughs> So, we might put the sail up again, but we'll see. Well, we've had to uh, undo the rafts because it was hard work. Um, it was hard work uh, paddling them uh, rigged together. And we just heard from Matty, who's now in front, saying it's much easier as a singleton. So, here we are, just the two of us again. Onwards. To Inverness. Whoa. Right. Long day. You all see that one? Yeah, it's alright. Oh, yeah. You're good. Yeah. Well, it's the end of day four. That was a really hard paddling day. Um, we've made our way until we're about, let's say, four-fifths of the way down Loch Ness. And so we're on schedule to finish tomorrow, which would be great, although it's really, really enjoyable. We've now uh, pitched up at this great little beachy bit. Some of the guys have pitched on the uh, sort of pebble beach, and myself and Simon and Rick, actually, and uh, Matty have uh, picked this sort of little plateau of grass which is just perfect really um, I very quickly got off the canoe and put on some warm clothes because I was holding the sail for about the last half an hour whilst uh, Simon steered and uh, <laughs> it, uh, it I got quite cold doing it so yeah nice and warm now get the camp set up and get something to eat So tonight is a yellow curry, just look at that. And the great news about today is that a couple of hours ago we refreshed the Just Giving page and we have topped the £10,000 mark. Thank you so much. We're just absolutely amazed. We're not surprised because everyone's been so generous and we can just tell by the the feeling around this adventure that we're doing that everyone's behind us we're just getting great messages through from Instagram through YouTube um, just sort of wishing as well along the way people have been following the Garmin link as well and yeah nothing makes us happier than just seeing those donations come in and and just enjoying the support you're giving us and it's helping us along the way it's giving us that sort of real push that you know there have been times 
where it's not been particularly easy today we we had this lovely tailwind which turned in the space of about 10 minutes into a blasting wind in our faces so we had to completely sort of untie the canoes get the sail down and separate and then battle into this headwind for a bit which again it, it then turned around and helped us but i think today for all of us was was the hardest paddle but absolutely worth it anyway i'm going to get on with my meal but thank you either is it just simply do look like just, just i'm just putting on my um, yeah my yeah. moisturizer <laughs> do you look a bit alike no a tiny bit yeah well now we've got the same hat yeah, well, I've, I've got a nice one. So I go put my glasses on, then we'll he really looked, look. He's not taller than me. I'm just standing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing on a, a ledge, honestly. He's, he's smaller than he looks in the videos. <laughs> anyway, um, what have we got to say? Are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a fantastic you know, time. What was your yeah. favourite part of today? Uh, part of today apart from dinner which I just thoroughly enjoyed that was good, good. no I, I've just I've loved smashing not Loch Ness yeah we've done yeah. some serious miles today yeah it's and been um, good and it's not been easy so that was the good thing so uh, we've, we've at no. least we've we've pushed ourselves for the mm. charity which mm. is really important absolutely so uh, yeah we've got tonight and hopefully we'll push up the canal tomorrow and uh, be ready for you all waiting for us with your wallets open. <laughs> <laughs> Lying oh. in the streets of Inverness. Right, <laughs> well, we'll see you tomorrow. So I'm here with my boat partner and really captain of the ship because uh, I haven't uh, really known very much what I'm doing and I've been extremely grateful for his wisdom. And uh, yeah, I've, there've been some conditions certainly today and a bit of yesterday where I'd have been a little bit concerned if I was on my own. So the baptism of fire. The baptism of fire on those great two yeah. grade two rapids. So we're just doing a little bit of a question and answer. One question and one answer. Um best part so far of the challenge for you. Oh the challenge. Yeah. Um, best part of the challenge. I like doing the river. Yeah, the yeah. river was good. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Getting a bit of white water under the belt. Yeah, it was yeah, nice. And, brilliant. Uh, the best part, not not falling out of it. <laughs> that was yeah. the best. We've part. had a couple of a couple of sketchy moments where, you know, if you just move a little too bit, a little bit quick, and you know, a bit, yeah, yeah, you know, because we've had a lot of stuff in. We've had a lot of gear in that canoe. Yeah. So here we go with the dude himself. We've got Jin Scarf here, who's just been fantastic. <laughs> I've really enjoyed his company along the trail. We're on our last, hopefully our last night. Um, all things being equal, it shouldn't be too bad. And I'm just asking Jin, today was a pretty hard paddle, wasn't it? What was your, what was your memorable moment from today? Um, I think being swamped by, by a big wave, I think that was the most memorable. And trying to keep the canoes straight and um, not yeah. letting the dogs fall out. It wasn't a good day It was for the, tough. It was tough. It was, it was tough, tough paddle. Man. How but many we've we done? 18 miles. It's about 18 miles today. That is outstanding. And and I've just made this point, Ginge didn't have a sail. You know, a lot of us had a sail up today. Ginge was all hand paddling all the way and it, it's really good. And that's again proof, you know, we're doing this, we show a bit of graft because we, we're taking this so seriously to get ourselves over to Inverness and get this challenge complete. £10,000 we've raised today. Well, not today, it's hit £10,000. Pounds of oh, it's got to tennis, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow, how tennis. brilliant. It's got a tennis. I knew it was teetering on it. Yeah, so, oh, no, it's absolutely got Absolutely outstanding. So brilliant. You couldn't have imagined it. Good. And it's great to meet this legend. <laughs> and this legend too. <laughs> Yeah, and talking of legends, here's the legend himself, organiser of this amazing adventure. I mean, what a time we've had. And yeah, we've, uh, we're on the side of Loch Ness now with, how, how long do you think paddle-wise in miles to go? No. Yeah. Um, I would say, I would say around about six, something yeah, like that. Yeah, so we're, the, the end is in sight. So yeah. And uh, yeah, I was going to ask uh, and, and what had been his sort of most memorable part of today. Today, uh, well, that's pretty darn easy. Uh, when Mike shouted, "We've reached ten thousand!" So yeah, yeah, ten thousand quid. So thank you, thank you so much for you know every single donation. <laughs> and you know what, these guys really deserved it today because we've yeah. fought tooth and nail. Well. We've been in, we've been in um, 
you'll you'll see it in the videos we've been up with the sails and things like yeah, that yeah. but the three three lads who who set off first uh which was ginger mike and matt uh, they was just lit literally paddling all the way yeah. fighting gusts fighting huge swell and you know none of them came a cropper none of them went in the drink they all made it safely here uh, something's watching over us on this trip it yeah. really is yeah. you know everything you know everything has gone in in our favor and thank you so much for for all your your donations that's come through it just has really spurred us along it, it, thank it. You. <laughs> <laughs> i learned taller in this one that's good i'm still uh, on the slope to be fair the other so yeah we've got uh, matt here from adventure is made and uh, yeah he's had a solo paddle today no sails no rafting up a real day of graft well what was your most memorable part of today do you think uh probably say staying in my boat <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit choppy at times and uh, we really struggled to stay on a straight line yeah especially yeah. when the embankment was quite steep at yeah the, uh, north uh, the yeah. west end of the lock Brilliant. it was it was a tough day yeah it was um, really tough. so um and and that's good because we wanted we wanted to show you a bit of graph <laughs> uh, wanted to, to be a challenge didn't we exactly it's called the canoe challenge yeah. brilliant so we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I've changed, I've changed the undies once this trip. Open them up. Oh! <laughs> and the camera is rolling. Yes, yes, yes. Lucky, really. I get bitten by them. It, yeah. it kind of itches for about 10 or 15 seconds and then nothing. Yeah, it's not even a mark. Wow. You don't bother me, have you? Yeah. Yeah. I've got friends that they get bitten by one. They've got yeah. flames for like days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, had, I've had this one in the back of my. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Well, it's a very midgy beginning of day five. Got the full gear on today. Nice day. A um, little bit low cloud. No wind at the moment. We could do with a little bit of a following wind because it's still quite a hard paddle to go. But yeah, I'm going to get some breakfast on. Um, you've seen that all before. Dehydrated and uh, have a cup of tea and we'll get on our way. So we've set sail for, well we haven't set sail, but we're paddling for the final push. Ahead there's a spit of sort of forested uh, land coming out into the lock and we need to head left of that to pick up the canal network that leads into Inverness. As I said earlier, a couple of portages and yeah, not an easy day. Well, we've, we've left the lock system now. It's a shame to be uh, out of Loch Ness and beyond, but there's only one way to get to Inverness. And we've just got this very uh, um, sort of shipping-wise, quite busy canal system now, all the way up into Inverness and the finish. But uh, it's all very calm. <laughs> So this is the uh, first of two portages the locks just leading into the canal from the lock system so these are locks and we've been in a lock <laughs> Just on the outskirts of Inverness now, 
probably hear a little bit of traffic noise. First proper civilization really since uh, Fort Augustus. Um, it's a funny feeling, I don't really want to hear vehicles and uh, see sort of metal structures and that sort of thing. It's been nice being very, very much in the wild. But all good things must come to an end. I think we've probably got about a mile and a half total to go and uh, we'll be at the end. After the last portage, we began the paddle up the last few hundred yards of the Caledonian Canal. Big smile from a bloke in the woods. <laughs> As we neared the end, we pulled up in a tight formation and we were really lucky to have a well-wisher on the bank who shot this amazing footage of us finishing our paddle of the Great Glen. There we go, finish line, all safe and sound. And that's us all finished. We're at the finishing line, just packing up the boats. And <laughs> what an achievement. We're all over the moon. I think we all can't quite believe it. But thanks. Well, this is me signing off from back at Fort William. It's just been brilliant. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll get down heavily to the edit now. But again, thank you very much for all the donations. Thanks for supporting us along the route. And I look forward to seeing you again.